Welcome back guys to Next Gen PCs. I am Derek and in this video we're going to show you how to invert the GPU. Now this is kind of standard, you can almost do this in any case, I haven't done it in all of them so I don't know, but if you kind of follow these simple rules you should be able to invert the GPU in your case. Um, previously I've done it in the S340 Elite build by NZXT, uh, that was showcased at PAX East. And ever since then, I got a lot, a lot of requests on how to invert the GPU. Granted, this is not that case, but again, it's kind of the same concept, and that'll be another video coming up in the future. So this video is going to be more so of a, a build, I guess you say, build log part two for the Inwin 509, as you can see behind me. And you can see that the GPU is sitting inverted. Now, granted, you see that it does have the normal blower style shroud. Um, I am still waiting on my CPU block and my GPU block. So hopefully in the next video, I should have those probably sometime this week. Once those arrive, that will definitely be the next video and we're gonna get this build rolling and I am excited to start getting the actual blocks and the tubing in and the reservoirs. And that way we'll, again, we'll cover that all up in another video. But enough of me talking. I know you guys wanna see this, so here we go. Alright, so once you have the actual back bracket off, what I like to do is I actually take the GPU and I will go ahead and try to figure out what height that I want this at. So I really don't want to cover too much of the motherboard and I want to make sure I have enough clearance from the PSU shroud that I made earlier. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab a pen and take this bracket and the first cut I'm going to start off with is cutting a slot out for this top part to actually go through the back. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the back bracket and just pretty much kind of eyeball it. So I know it's kind of hard for you to see, but I have my three marks there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and grab my Dremel. Make sure you wear some type of safety glasses. You definitely don't want metal flying inside of your eye or something like that. So, I know it sounds very cheesy, but definitely protect your eyes. Well, alright, so you see there that the first part you need to do is cut the top piece for the back brackets. Now I do cut three holes that you actually take the screws out because once I put that bracket in, those screws actually go through the back and attach to the GPU for more support. So if you're wondering how is this going to support just by cutting the top hole and letting it sit in there, it's definitely not that. You have to put the screws back through the back of the case and connect it to the GPU that way you have the supports. Now this part here, we're actually gonna go ahead and I sketched out where the display ports are. We're gonna cut a hole for all that so your display connections can go through obviously the back and you can connect the GPU to your monitors because, well, we obviously need that if we wanna play games, right? So we'll get onto that part right now.
And as you can see there, there was a lot of sparks flying and this definitely involves a little more cutting than a straight line because that way you have to open up that space to allow your display port connections to go through the back of the case. So once you have that all done, then you definitely want to go ahead and, you know, test it out and make sure it works, right? So here you go. Here's a couple shots here. And as you can see, I put the bracket back on. I secured it with the screws through the back of the case. And you can see it just sits nice and perfect and straight. And it looks beautiful. I'm very happy with the outcome. Really can't wait to get the block on this and see the fluid go through. And it's going to be nice front and center through the tempered glass panel. After I finished the mod for inverting the GPU, I decided to go ahead and paint the heat spreaders on my PNY Anarchy RAM. They usually come red or blue. This was the red pair. I decided to black them out. That way it'll fit with the rest of the build theme and it'll blend in. As you see here, I have eight dims on this bad boy. I filled all the slots up and run 32 gigs. I also painted my Swift Tech radiators black. I have the PSU shroud painted in black with the GPU installed. Well, all right guys, there you have it. So I had the inverted GPU, I painted the shroud, I got that installed. I painted the RAM heat spreaders, installed those, and pretty much this is gonna be it for the part two build log of the N1509. Now one thing I do wanna ask you guys is would you like to see more manufacturers include this as an option? I personally think it's a great option and it's definitely something that more manufacturers can consider. I know a couple of them out there already make it, but I still think for the next big thing to come, I really think this can be it for a lot of the manufacturers, especially with the amount of people that starting to get into water cooling. When you have the block installed, instead of it just having hiding face down in the slots, why not have it face up? All the cases are pretty much starting to have tempered glass. That's another big thing. So imagine having a nice GPU with a block, regardless of what company it is, inverted, and you can see your fluid going through the entire build. I think that is just crazy not to have that on more cases. But again, there's people out there like myself and many others who decide to go ahead and mod. Another thing I do want to point out, some of this stuff does void your warranties. I probably should have said that in the beginning of the video, but yes, so some of this stuff, definitely check with your manufacturer's warranty because I am not reliable. If for some reason you decide to cut something, you mess it up. So I hope that doesn't happen. But yes, double check and make sure, which I don't think any company is really going to cover you cutting into their case, nor taking the GPU apart. So I hope you enjoy this. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the whole inverted GPU. Should more companies offer this as an option? I think a lot of you would be more in favor with me on this one, and I think it should be an option, regardless if it's coming from the manufacturer already set like that, or if some way, somehow, they can include some type of bracket. For people out there that don't want to get a Dremel out and cut like I do, it'd just be a lot easier process if something can just screw into the actual slots and you don't have to worry about any cutting. But hey, what do I know? So I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next one.